Welcome to the new part of Blink tutorial. In this part, we will learn about a new category of the link queue operators. The category is partitioning data. So we have to learn what are the partitioning data operators, why and where should we use partitioning operators, what methods are available in this category. At the last, we will learn about some examples so that you can pick these operators to perform your operations. Let's start. Partitioning operations are used to divide data source into two parts. So basically you will have a data source and then based on a condition you will divide your data source into two parts and as an output you will fetch only one part and returns one of them as an output but the main point is without changing element position. So you will get only one part but the position of the element will remain same. There will not be any change in the positions of the elements. To understand it better, let's have a look of some examples. First, select top n number of records from a data source. So suppose you have a data source and you have to select first 5 records from the data source. Then for that you can use partition operations. Select record from a data source until a specified condition is true. So you have a data source and suppose I am saying that you have to fetch the records until a given condition is met. So in that scenario, we can use partition operations. Next is select all records except first n number of records. So suppose I am saying that uh, I have a data source which has suppose n number of records. I need all the records except first seven records. So after the first seven records, I need all the records. And in that scenario, we can use the partitioning. And the main is skip record from a data source until a specified condition is true and select rest or records. So basically as in the above example we were taking the records uh, until the condition was true but in this scenario we will skip all the records until the condition is true and we will get all the remaining records. Partitioning operations are used to implement pagination for a data source. In most of the scenarios, you have to implement the pagination where you will click on the next, next, next and then based on the current page and index of the page, we have to fetch records from the data source so that we can implement our pagination on the UI. Now, let's have a look on the methods of the partitioning data operations. So the first method is take, second is take while, third is skip and the last is skip while. So there are four methods which are available in partition data methods. In the next few videos, we will learn about all the methods one by one. That's all in this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button of the videos.